Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the unique helmet, the Grand Crown, known as the Crown of Thieves. The Crown of Thieves is an absolutely excellent early find, uh, especially if you're doing ladder, uh, just simply because it can literally make or break your mercenary uh, early on. Um, having a lifesteal helmet can honestly uh, be a huge boon to your mercenary and, uh, and really, really increase his survivability quite a lot. Uh, let's take a look at this helmet and we'll get an idea of what it could potentially be good for um, and what it might not be good for. So right off the bat, you'll notice it's 342 defense with a strength requirement of only 103, uh, which is a little high for level 49 for some characters, but not too bad at all. Uh, we have a 12% lifesteal per hit, uh, which is variable to 9 to 12%, so you can find the Crown of Thieves in kind of a poor condition with a lower percentage. And especially as you get into Nightmare and Hell Difficulty, where the lifesteal penalties are, um, this can be an issue. If you've never uh, researched lifesteal penalties, I would recommend that you take a look at my lifesteal penalty video. Um, just, you know, take a look at my channel. Uh, you know, search for D2R lifesteal ginger gaming mentor or something like that i'm sure you'll come across my video on lifesteal penalties um, we have 200 percent enhanced defense on this which does vary by 40 percent so it can be as low as 160 percent and as high as 200. Uh, we have a nice bonus to dexterity here of 25 which is pretty massive and is going to give you a nice bonus to your defense it's going to give you a nice bonus to your attack rating it's going to give you a nice bonus to your uh, block chance all of which are very very handy and of course, um, if you are having trouble equipping an item, like maybe you were utilizing a high dex item, uh, like something like uh, Bartek's Cutthroat, which has a 79 dex requirement, um, you know, this could also help you put on a weapon. Uh, we also have a rather nice bonus to life here of plus 50 to life, uh, which is pretty darn sweet. And, uh, and honestly, uh, 50 life can be a lot at level 49, especially if you are a character that doesn't have a lot of life. And for a mercenary, of course, also very nice to have that as well. Uh, we also have 35 to mana on here, uh, which is static, and that is also a very nice little bonus to mana. And for characters who are not specifically built around mana 35 to mana can actually be uh, like <laughs> most of their mana pool i know for instance uh, paladins for instance when they first start out are only at about 15 mana and uh, and by the time they get to uh, level 49 they aren't really that much better unless they've got some kind of plus mana equipment so this can come in handy for that of course it's not going to have absolutely no effect on your mercenary because mercenaries don't have mana uh, we also have a fire resistance of 33 percent which is certainly very nice to have uh, fire is one of the more common elements in uh, Diablo. Um, you know, the, the Bale, uh, sorry, not Bale, uh, Diablo spams it. Uh, you know, the Shamans spam it. Uh, there's Inferno, the uh, Pit Lords and spam Inferno. You know, there's fire everywhere in Diablo. And I feel like having a little bit of extra fire resistance is certainly going to help out uh, you and your mercenary, especially if you plan on farming the Council, which is full of Hydras. Uh, we also have a 100% extra gold for monsters on here, uh, which is definitely very nice and could also be a good council farming item. Uh, extra gold for monsters does apply on your mercenary, uh, just like Magic Find does. It does vary from 80 to 100%, so if you're looking specifically for that, maybe try and find yourself a 100% extra gold for monsters helmet. Um, it will stack on top of yours, so for instance, if you are utilizing some nice extra gold for monster equipment, maybe as a uh, find item barbarian, for instance, um, you are going to be able to stack this on top of yours. However, it is important to note that it doesn't affect your kill. So when if you have 500% extra gold for monsters and your merc has 100%, it has to be his kill. So he's the one that actually has to make the killing blow to get that effect. Now, the ethereal version can also have some really nice defense. It can go up as high as 513, which is definitely very nice. And, uh, and that is, is, of course, with the 200% enhanced. Uh, the ethereal version makes an absolutely excellent merc item because not only does it have the lifesteal, the dexterity, the uh, extra life, the fire resistance, the extra gold for monsters, but it also has more defense because it is ethereal. Uh, the crowd of thieves can be upgraded, but it's probably not going to be the best upgrade. Um, unless you're doing it specifically for a mercenary. And this is because the Corona, which is the elite version of this item, has a relatively high strength requirement of, um, I believe it's 170-something, which, uh, which is not very good in terms of, you know, trying to 
utilize on a character. Uh, but for a mercenary, a high-level mercenary, it could be okay. I do feel like normally, though, you end up with better items, better helmets than the Crown of Thieves by the time you uh, you get into, like, the seven, level 70, level 80. Um, you know, it might be something that you use for quite some time, but usually you end up upgrading your mercenary to something like a, uh, maybe even a Shaco or an Andariel's Visage or, uh, you know, a Steel Skull Cask. There's a lot of different choices that you can put on his head, maybe even a Delirium. Um, so having a really high strength requirement helmet around may not be the best, especially considering crown, the Crown of Thieves is absolutely great for lower level characters, and once you upgrade it, you're not going to be able to get any more use out of it. Uh, so let's take a look at it real quickly here, uh, which is 342 defense, 103 strength, level 49, to 357 defense, 174 strength requirement, level 73. So quite a bump there in both the strength requirement and the level requirement. Um, one thing I did forget, though, is that it's important to note that Crown of Thieves is not particularly rare. Um, you usually will see quite a few of these in your level up process. Um, so upgrading one of them and leaving a couple of them non-upgraded certainly would be fine. Um, I just usually like to have at least a couple of Crown of Thieves to throw on mercenaries as I level up characters. Of course, you can always share it. But uh, when, I, when I can get away with not sharing an item, I usually do because... Sharing everything is not going to be the most viable thing in the world. Every time you log into a character, half your characters are going to be naked because you're sharing every single item that they've got. So the Ethereal version um, upgrades from 513 defense, 93 strength, level 49, to 516 defense, 164 strength, level 73. Um, so as you can see here uh, with this particular helmet... Um, it doesn't really upgrade that well in the defense category. Uh, we went from, what, 342 defense on the Grand Crown to 357 on the Corona. Uh, so not really that great. And then for the Ethereal version, again, it wasn't really a huge upgrade. Um, and this is because the Corona doesn't really have that much more defense than the Grand Crown. And there's also a variance. Um, so if you take a look at the Grand Crown, the base defense of a Grand Crown can roll between 78 to 113. Um, when you roll a helmet to upgrade it, it re-rolls the defense according to um, a, a hidden statistic. A lot of people don't know this, but it's like a hidden um, item code. And the hidden item code means that the defense can potentially roll, you know, badly. Um, so when you look at the Corona, the Corona defense has a uh, defense variable from 111 to 165. So what this means is that because the highest defense possible on the Grand Crown is 113 and the lowest defense possible on the Corona is 111, there is an overlap, which means that potentially your Crown of Thieves can actually lose defense. Um, if you had a particularly high defense grand, grand Crown that was being upgraded into a particularly low defense Corona. Um, now, it, it can actually go up, but not by as much as you would think. So the highest that a Corona can roll is 165, and the highest that a Grand Crown can roll is 113, uh, which is a difference of, uh, let's see here, 113... Minus 165. I did say 165, right? Yes. Um, which means a difference of 52 defense. So if you were to have, like, the perfect Corona version, you would get a 52 defense bump over the original. Which really kind of means that upgrading the Crown of Thieves is probably not a good idea, because most of the time you're going to end up with less defense than when you started. Um, let's take a look over at Silo's Pen real quick, and we'll have a look and see um, where potentially you could find uh, this item if you wanted to. So um, this is, actually is something that a lot of people search out early on in a ladder, uh, specifically because the Crown of Thieves is just uh, that good of an item for low-level mercs. And, uh, and getting your hands on one early can make a huge difference in your mercenary's survivability. Uh, but assuming, of course, the level requirement on this, let's say we only have about 150% magic find. And uh, let's go over to Silo's Pen real quick. There we go. 
Um, so on Silo's pen, we have a drop probability. Uh, it looks like Bale is our best bet at 1 in 767. Uh, we also have uh, Hell and Dariel, which is 1 in 775. Hell Mephisto at 1 in 821. And uh, Hell Diablo at 1 in 844. But hold up a second. This is a <clears throat> nightmare level item. It's a level 40, you know, uh, what did we say it was? Level 49 or something like that? Uh, I can't even remember off the top of my head now. But it's it's in the 40s. So why would I want to be trying to farm this in Hell Difficulty? Um... Hell difficulty is going to be like level 60, level 70, level 80. Um, you know, level 40 is like the beginning of, of uh, Nightmare. Let's take a look at Nightmare bosses, and let's see how many bosses in Nightmare can potentially drop this. Um, so Diablo in Nightmare. Iswal in Nightmare is a really horrible chance. Not a lot of good choices in Nightmare for bosses. Uh, let's take a look at Hell difficulty. Or sorry, um, Super Unix. Let's take a look at Super Unix. So as far as super uniques and nightmare go, uh, not a lot of good choices either. Uh, Pendle skin, cow king. Not a lot of monsters that are below Act Four Hell or Act Four Nightmare. So Act Four Nightmare is toward the end of Nightmare, of course, and that's when you're getting into the level sixty, level seventy range. Um, certainly not a lot of good farming choices for a character to actually find this on level. Um, I've noticed this a lot with um, the exceptional or the nightmare level items, is that a lot of the times they just have absolutely terrible drop chances um, in the areas where you would actually want to find them. Um, so, you know, it does look like, unfortunately, as far as super uniques go, that you're not going to have a lot of good options. Um, Bone Ash right here probably seems like one of the best options. Literally a hell difficulty farm. Um, farming Bone Ash, Rocket Issue, Bishy Bosh, and Treehead Woodfist. That's probably your best bet right here for a low level farm of this item because most of the monsters are either way too high level or not really that easy to get to on a regular basis. Uh, Bishy Bosh, Rocket Issue, Treehead Woodfist, and Bone Ash are at the very beginning of Hell Difficulty and would certainly be easy enough to farm. They also have a really high probability uh, to drop Shaco, Harlequin Crest Shaco. Uh, which could certainly be more useful to you than the uh, the crown. I just uh, I really wish there was a couple monsters in the in like the nightmare zone, which would have like any real good chance to farm. I mean, theoretically, if you had somebody who could open the portal for you, the cow king could be an interesting choice to farm at a lower level. But uh, the problem with that is that somebody has to have, of course, beaten nightmare difficulty, and then would have to come back and create the portal for you in Act One. Uh, but that's really the only monster in Act 1 Nightmare Difficulty who could potentially drop this item is the Cow King himself. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when we are talking about the Crown of Thieves. And uh, as always, keep watching.